Hello everyone, my name is Pedro Zamora and I am a software development engineer at AWS. In this demo, I'll walk you through how you can get started with Amazon Data Zone using the custom AWS Service Blueprint. Let's see all the things we'll cover. First, we'll go through a quick introduction to Amazon Data Zone and the custom AWS Service Blueprint. Then, we will introduce a sample end-to-end -end customer workflow that covers the core functionalities of this blueprint. Finally, we'll take you through a step-by-step -step process of how you can implement this workflow in Amazon Data Zone yourself. So, let's get started. Amazon Data Zone is an AWS service that allows you to catalog, discover, share, govern, and analyze data across organizational boundaries. If you are not already familiar with Data Zone, please visit our first Getting Started video for more context. It will be linked in the video description. Now, let's quickly go over the infrastructure that powers Data Zone. Inside of a data zone domain, you can create projects. These projects are then used as ownership entities within data zone. When you create a project, you are creating a logical container to add members. But for these members to work with data and analytics tools, they need storage, tools, and necessary IAM permissions deployed. Those deployments are managed using blueprints and environments. Data zone blueprints define what AWS tools and services are provisioned to be used within an environment. Out of the box, DataZone has a few default blueprints ready to use. These include Default Data Lake, Default Data Warehouse, and Default SageMaker, with more on the way. DataZone administrators can use the console to enable or disable these blueprints in each associated account as they see fit. To give more flexibility for you to bring your resources, we are introducing the custom AWS Service Blueprint. This provides a container for you to define what resources should be used by Amazon DataZone. The custom AWS Service Blueprint does not provision any resources, unlike the other default blueprints. Instead, customers can configure their AWS IAM role to integrate their existing resources with DataZone. Additionally, customers can configure action links, which provide federated access to any AWS resource, like S3 buckets, Glue ETL jobs, and more, using the IAM role configured by the customer. So, let's explore a sample custom AWS Service Blueprint workflow we will implement using DataZone. In this scenario, the marketing team wants to onboard the sales team's AWS account to their domain to access data in their Glue database. But the sales team have sensitive resources with IAM permissions already defined, so they want to use a bring-your-own-role setup, meaning custom IAM roles instead of the DataZone defaults. The sales team would also like to set up custom action links to S3 and Athena in their environment. Each team would like to publish their own data and subscribe to data from the other account. These are the different steps we will go through. We will first step into the shoes of the marketing team's data zone administrator to associate the sales team's AWS account to their domain. Then, we will switch to the role of the sales team's data zone administrator to accept this association, enable their custom AWS service blueprint, and create a custom environment. We'll configure the environment to use our custom IAM role, set up an action link to our S3 bucket and Athena workgroup, and then connect the environment to our Glue database. Finally, we'll step into the shoes of a DataZone portal user to publish, subscribe, and query data from each account. So, let's build this use case on DataZone. We'll assume you have one AWS account with a pre-existing DataZone domain and default data lake environment and another AWS account with a Glue database that you would like to ingest data from. So, as a marketing team's data zone administrator, we'll first need to associate the sales team's AWS account to our domain. In our data zone domain, let's click Request Association. Then, we'll enter in the sales team's AWS account ID. Here, we can select if this account should have access to the data portal. We'll leave that as default for now. Click Request Association. Now, let's switch into the shoes of the sales team's data zone administrator. In our data zone console, we should now see an association request from the marketing team's domain. Here, we can review the request, enable the default data lake and data warehouse blueprints in our account as we see fit, and accept or reject this association. For now, let's leave these blueprints disabled and accept the request. Now, we should see the domain appear under the associated domains table. Let's go into the domain and enable the custom AWS Service Blueprint in our account. Once enabled, let's create a custom environment. 
type in a name and description. Let's create and use a new project since there won't be any available to our account yet. Now, let's pick our custom IAM role to use as our environment role. You can use DataSense default environment role as a reference when creating your own role. Finally, let's select a region and click Create Environment. The environment should be created after a few seconds. Now, let's take a second to configure our environment. Custom environments initially contain no resources, so we need to configure a few things before we can work with any data. First, let's set up a console link to our S3 bucket. This will allow data portal users to access our S3 bucket using the environment's federated role directly from the portal. We can set up console links to any AWS resources that our users might need. Let's also set up a console link to the Athena workgroup containing our glue data. Next, let's set up a subscription target and data source to the glue database in our account. Enter a name, pick AWS glue, and select the database. Here, let's pick a custom IAM role to use as our glue manage access role. You can use DataSense default glue manage access role as a reference when creating your own role. Let's toggle this to also create a data source and pick a name. Now, let's click add. Now that our environment is set up to utilize the resources in our account, we can step into the shoes of a data portal user. Let's click the portal link from the environment to federate into the portal using the associated account. From here, we can publish, subscribe, and query any data in the data catalog or in the resources connected to our environment. We can also use the console links to federate into any AWS resource that our admin has provided access to. Let's publish sales data in our Glue database to the data catalog so the marketing team can finally use it. Click on Data Sources and go to the data source we created in our custom environment. Click Run. We should see the data in our Glue database. Let's click Accept All and then publish this asset to the catalog. Now, the marketing team can request access to this data asset and query it using their own environments. Let's also subscribe to the report published by the marketing team so we can run some queries on it in our Athena workgroup. We can search for the marketing report in the asset search bar here. Now, only we'll to request access to it from the marketing team. Someone on their side will have to accept the request before we can subscribe to the data. Now that the subscription has been approved on our subscribe data, we can see that the asset shows up as approved, but the access has not been granted yet. We can see that DataZone is working on the necessary backend plumbing to automatically grant the access. Once that is done, we can see the subscription now shows as granted. Now that the sales team has access to the data, we can team link using the Athena console link we set up earlier to query it. To make sure that we have access to this table, we can preview it and we can see that the query executes successfully. So, in this demo, we saw how DataZone allows you to associate additional AWS accounts to a domain and utilize a custom AWS service blueprint to set up a custom environment using their own resources. Thanks for watching.